G'day everyone, welcome to Mining Engineer Plays Minecraft. This is where we spawn, facing the walls, quite interesting. This is actually a really nice area. This reminds me of uh, Minecraft Beta Worlds, where rivers were a large part of the land generation, I feel. That might just be how I remembered it though. Yeah, so we spawned... Over there, facing the wall, was it? Hmm. So, the goal of this series, just while we go and try and find some animals, is to apply some mining realism to the world. So, something I want to do that other YouTubers tend to not do is focus on large-scale mining projects in the game. So, mining is always really considered a chore in the game. And I want to try and change that. I want to play around with some large-scale blasts. So I, I want to build a big open cut mine fairly soon on. I'll just let this CPU catch up a bit. In fact, I'm going to grab this tree here so I can get those birds. But yeah, I want to build basically a big hole in the ground. And so I'm going to want to get a creeper farm happening pretty soon. So that I can get some explosives manufactured. Why did I pick this tree? Do some of that, do some of that. Been a while since I've played. Probably haven't played since Minecraft 1.14. That will do us for now. Pick this up. I'm going to leave that tree until I get an axe. I just can't be bothered chopping that down right now. Um, the biggest sin of Minecraft, I know. But yeah, another one of the projects that I want to look into is a big underground mine. So I want to use uh, a rail network. And that should allow us to stay underground for a long period of time. So maybe we'll have some a food source being shipped down to the mining level and we'll have a, another rail which exports our mine resources to the surface I'm also going to grab some seeds here because I know that it's very important to get a wheat farm happening early in the game have I forgotten how seeds work Pretty sure any grass can drop it, right? Yep. Wow, really rare. Okay, I've grabbed some seeds and I'm back at the spawn area here. I didn't didn't really grab many, I just a few I saw on the way back. And I'm actually gonna start by building a little adit into the side of the hill here. If you don't know, an adit's basically just a one-sided tunnel. Let's pickaxe in. Maybe I should have grabbed some more meat, but I couldn't see any animals nearby. So let's just... Yeah, I actually do want to try and find a few more, I've decided. So I'm going to head up over this hill. Oh, flower forest. Yucky. Aha. Uh -huh. Beepy sheep and a wolf. That's pretty handy. One of my favorite things in this game is going caving with wolves and they just annihilate everything. So I'm gonna head back home now. I'll take the long route. See if there's any more animals that I can slaughter. Piggly Wigglies. They will suffice. What are we up to? Five. I think we'll let this other one live. No, we won't. Ok, 
Cool, okay. Now we'll head back for reals. Yeah, so I started playing Minecraft in probably 2010 when it was still in the beta mode. And, um, absolutely fell in love with it. Just built a stone pickaxe. Should have built a shovel too. But, yep. Okay, let's keep going into the mountain. Let's see what's here. Coal, beautiful. The only reason I went and got that wood was so I could make charcoal, but now I'm not going to need to. Hopefully. So let's see. Yeah, it looks like a pretty big vein. Beautiful. Yeah, so obviously a couple of resources that are going to be pretty important for us. Early on, iron to get some rail systems, as well as, as I've mentioned, gunpowder and sand. I know it's very dark in here. Let me grab a torch. Okay. This will form the first room of our house. Oh, actually. I'm thinking we leave this dirt roof here just to, for a bit of coverage. So I'm going to get a wheat farm set up in here to start with. Actually, I'm going to put it outside. I'm just trying to envision how I want this to happen. And I think I'm going to go for kind of one of my old school base designs where I build it half underground and half above ground just kind of with like bits hanging out and secret passages that go from building underground and pop into another building so just let me build a little hoe I'm making rookie errors here um perfect do some of this Get some seeds down. I also want to try and get all the achievements in this world. I've never done that in Minecraft, so that's something I want to do. And I know it's a pretty huge task to pull that off, especially when you've got to discover all the biomes and who knows what else these days. But it's something I'm looking forward to. Nice bit of a challenge. I've just graduated uni now, so looking for something to fill the time in between work. Now, luckily, you haven't seen any mobs yet. I am going to put a little oak door in this place first. Before I go any further, just to be safe. Okay. Now, for this first room, let me have a look at my little ideas list here. I think, um, really probably the best thing for us to do is to get Stuck into mining straight away. I'm thinking this could be one of our big terminals. So, yeah, this will work nicely. So, I want to have, I think, yeah, three wired decline down to Y11. Pretty sure 11 is the layer on top of lava. Perfect layer. Yes, yeah, so I want to do this. And I'm thinking... Rail down the left side. Which will send our uh, food and consumables down. And then a rail up the right side. Which will export our mine resources. I'm actually going to go two by three steps as well. 
Now you know what? I'm gonna go three by three. Just to get that little bit of extra realism in. Because obviously you wouldn't have your your minecart rails going up a 45 degree incline. What have I done with the roof here? Three high, three high. Try and keep it lit up. I'm not sure how much YouTube is going to darken this on me. Yeah, so I'll be looking for ideas very early on on little projects to keep us going in between our mining uh, long-term goals. One, two, three. Another patch of coal, which is nice. Not often that I start a world by mining. Usually I'll run around and spend a few days looking for a place to build, but I just couldn't resist building in this little nostalgic area. I'm going to put another crafting bench in here. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I'll just put it here. On my dirt table. How lovely. Get another pickaxe going. Pickaxe. Yeah, so usually come the first night, I don't have any coal. I'm trying to cook up like three bits of charcoal from the logs I've cut down. So this is going to be really nice. And also, I would usually be sprinting a lot more, trying to find a, a starting location so hunger would be depleted, but we are in tip-top condition right now. Probably only gonna need one furnace. We don't have that much yet. That much to cook, I mean. The only thing about doing this is it's hard to keep track, especially when I'm not lining up the roof with the floor. But it looks like we're going to clear the surface here. I don't think we're going to pop through into any layers out here. Just let me have a quick look. Dappling, I'll take it. Yeah, so it's pretty level up here. So I think we're definitely safe at this point that we're not going to resurface accidentally. So I'm just going to go full steam ahead here and see how far we can get. Okay, I've put some more meters on this steak line. I like the one in three grade, actually. Almost never done in Minecraft. And because they are, I want to pop out here and see if I can knock off one of these skellies. I could hear them. Oh, there they are. Whoa. Dead already. Great start. This is on hard mode. Did not expect them to do that much damage though. Good to get the first one out of the way, you know. It's all uphill from here. And he didn't even drop a bone. Oh well. Where is my sword? Oh, I've only got a wooden sword as well. I'm going to use it till it breaks, so I refuse to upgrade. Let's try this boy. He hasn't seen us. He's seen us. Hasn't he? Yeah, of course. Whoa. Going for it. Right. 
Got him. Hell yes, got the bone as well. Holy moly, he's got some speed on him. This wooden sword's really not cutting it, eh? Can't even two shot a squid. Did he just despawn? No. Let's see what's up here while we're over here. Whoa, CPU is struggling right now. Little spruce forest, nice. I actually really like this little forest river area. Look at this little shrubbery. I've never seen this. Where it goes, it leaves right to the bottom, and I've just ruined it, haven't I? Arrow in the knee. Hope that doesn't hinder too much progress here. One of my favorite Minecraft YouTube series was the Yogg's Cast, um, the Jaffa Factory series they did with Tekkit. Absolutely love that. Got hooked on that. I was in middle school when it came out and um, yeah, so followed on from that and then went and watched all of the Sips and Shin Dirt Factory videos. Love those as well. So, you know, guys like that are my inspiration. Minecraft is probably half the reason I went and became a mining engineer. And I have no regrets. Okay, one of the next things you want to do here is throw in some cobblestone. I want to get that smelted down so I can throw some slabs in. Um, on these so I don't have to sprint jump up them. Looks like our first bit of wheat's ready. I don't know if that's ready. Yep. Beautiful. Spread the love there. Door in the face. Check our stone. Very nice. Uh, whoa, what's that? Don't slabby webbies. It always surprises me how much diorite and those other new rocks are in this game. I always forget they're in until I jump in and start mining. Next batch of slabs, ready to go, love it. Alrighty, to round out the episode, let's build a little stone sword here and head over to that cave across the river. So I'm really itching to see if it's nice and worth exploring. Oh, low on pickaxe as well. Yeah, I'll make another one just in case. Oh, sticks, please. Okay, let's do this. Go find some baddies. Thank you. This looks like the smallest cave. What? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. That is a geotech hazard there. But 
we have scored some iron for our inquisitiveness. Hmm. Well, that's boring. I'm going to leave that there probably forever because I really don't want to ruin this river. And that's just going to make a big mess, isn't it? Oh, it looks... Is that another cave over there? We well, might still be on here. I'll take this. Oh, it's going night already. Please no. Oh, is that just the lighting glitch? Oh, no. Oh, it's a water. An underground reservoir. Huh. And some more iron. Thank you very much, Minecraft. I've done it. Not too worried about that coal. Floating grass will keep it as a memento. Try and get home before we get absolutely done by another skelly. Not what I wanted to do. Okay, now that we're a bit established here, I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here. So, next time we're going to, I'm probably going to do a lot of this off camera. I'm going to put this down to a desired mining elevation. And uh, we'll get cracking on a mob spawner, I think. A big mob farm. Let's do it. Yeah.